We know the 18 year old purchased the AR 15 style gun legally, but how does that process work? So Gibby's joining us to explain what the process is for buying a gun here in our state in Arizona. Gibby. Arizona, similar to Texas, you know, but each state is different. But here in Arizona, gun shops have to use by law instant background checks before they sell a weapon. Now, after they pass that, uh, you'll know within 10 minutes whether you're approved, denied, or delayed. Now, in Arizona, you also must be 21 years old and a resident to buy a handgun. And for a long gun, which is what an AR-15 lies in, you only have to be at least 18 years of age. And then they run that background check to notify the FBI immediately that you're looking to purchase a gun. And since it launched in 1998, more than 300 million checks have been done and more than 1.5 million have been denied. Now that's according to the FBI. We spoke with Jeff Surdy. He's the Pinal County Supervisor for District 5, the former mayor of Apache Junction and the owner of AJI Sporting Goods, a gun shop he's owned now for 23 years. He says it starts with a buyer filling out an ATF form and answering questions about criminal history, violence and mental illness, all of which will get a person denied instantly. In uh, the background checks, they're run through the FBI NIC system. And uh, if the FBI doesn't have that person in the system, then there's a possibility that, that they could be approved. I think both of the last two 18 year olds uh, wouldn't have been in the system. Jeff also says he's had people who have been denied at one gun store and then they'll try to get a gun with him. It doesn't work that way. Once you are denied at one location, that's it across the board. No gun shop can sell to you. Now, he also warns you that if you try to lie on that ATF form, that that is a felony and that could mean big trouble. All right, Gibby, thank you. Students all across the country are standing in solidarity with Uvalde, Texas. In fact, some at a Minnesota high school staged a walkout all in effort to protest gun control. These students at Buffalo High School gathered speaking out about the impact of school shootings on young people. There was also a moment of silence for those who died at Robb Elementary and for others who've been the victims of gun violence. There's so many adults out there that tell us that our voices can't be heard, but that's not true. Our voices can be heard. Ooh. How come you can't protect these poor, poor children? No one needed to die. So those students in Minnesota have two weeks left of school, and they want to make sure that every student is able to safely make it to their summer break.